So, welcome everybody to our booth of the Hoppeke Group. Uh, some of you probably already know the company Hoppeke as a manufacturer of lead acid batteries located in Germany. Um, let me also introduce to you our new branch of the company called Intilian. You can see it on my shirt. It's not in the Hoppeke green, but now we also have the Intilian orange. So, what is Intilian doing? Intilian is more focusing on lithium-ion battery technology, also including battery systems. So moving from supplying battery as a component towards supplying lithium-ion batteries as a system. And that's actually where we'd like to start the tour around our booth. Just here to our right, if you would all just come around. What you can see here is a schematic example of one of our lithium-ion battery systems. Usually they come in a form of a C container, which makes it very easy and convenient for the installation outdoor in the stationary battery business. So these systems are generally used to supply off-grid systems in combination with wind farms or solar PV farms. Those systems can also be used for peak shaving applications of industries um, to supply EV charging stations or any kind of load that you have. So these are the cornerstone of the energy management system or demand response system of tomorrow. But here we are only seeing a large-scale systems. Those systems are usually starting from one megawatt, one, one megawatt hour, and can tend up to tens, 20, 30 megawatt hours by just combining multiple containers into one big cluster. But we know that there are also a lot of applications that are more looking into small and middle-sized companies, smaller uh, off-grid systems or for peak shaving applications. So that's why we also developed a new product. It's called a scale block. It's a mid-scale product. If you just move around again, this system is a turnkey system with 68 kilowatt hours and a 30 kVA inverter system. The system is plug and play ready for eye landing operations, off-grid, black start. So you can build your own off-grid system just by using this battery container. It's very convenient in terms of size. It has its own UPS system to do the black starting. It is equipped with uh, advanced fire protection system that you can see here in black. This fire protection system ensures that in case of any failure of a lithium-ion module, this failure is contained on module level and will not spread to each cell in the container. That means that the system is basically 100% uh, fire protected. It's a very safe system. We also included lightning protection and over-voltage protection. On the left side, on the top, you can also see optical and acoustic warning signals to also ensure that the surrounding people will know in case there is an emergency to stay away. So safety is one of the aspects that we really take care of. The system is also equipped with a HVAC unit which ensures perfect operating temperatures of the lithium-ion batteries. So temperature is really a critical aspect for lithium-ion batteries for two points, one being the safety and security, the other being the uh, lifetime of the battery. As we all know, for chemical processes, 10 Kelvin in temperature increase will halve the lifetime of uh, the battery systems. So that's why we always ensure to have temperatures of 20 to 25 degrees inside the battery room, even in uh, 
uh, African climate, in Europe climate, in Southern American climate, this system will stay cool. This is also ensured by our double walled container housing, which is made of aluminium. So here again, you can feel it, you can touch it, it is high quality. And one more benefit of the system, it's all included in this container. You do not need to install an additional inverter system or anything. It is all in one, all plug and play ready. And it's scalable up to 16 of those systems can be connected in parallel. They can also be retrofitted. So you can start today by installing one. Next year, you feel like you need to extend your off-grid, you can install another one, and the year after, two more, and they're all compatible due to our own energy management software. This fire protection rack that I was talking about is also displayed here. You can also feel the quality here. It's very thick and there will not be any dispersion of the fire from one module to the next. And it's containing, but is it active or is it passive, the system? It's passively containing. Okay. So that's actually perfect because there's no active parts or nothing that could fail. Yep. Passive mechanical containment system. And to even further increase the sa safety and reliability of our system, we always include remote monitoring systems for all our battery systems. That means that you can easily, from your office, from at home, even from Germany, if you have a, a system in Africa, watch and monitor the cells, voltage and temperatures, even the current, the state of charge and the state of health. This will be making it much easier for you to schedule maintenance calls or to just reboot the software of the system to make software updates. And we'll also make all the uh, warranty claiming and handling much easier because we, as a manufacturer of the system, can always track what has been done with the system. And we also ensure that the systems will always run within the limitations of the warranty, that there will not be any bad awakening after five, six years, because we care for the customers. And we want the systems to be running and we want the customer to be happy and well most of all we want to have the people in the off-grid systems have their electricity because that's what they actually pay for. What kind of lithium ion cell, the oxide cells or the LFP? Uh, I thank you for the question. We are using NMC cells in our system due to the higher energy density and power density. It will increase the economics. The only drawback that we see for lithium-ion batteries might be a higher risk and safety, but this risk and safety is contained by our fire protection rack. So it's actually only having the advantages, not the disadvantages. So thank you very much for your presentation. Um, so you talked a lot about fire protection and hazards that can take place. So what's the probability, let's say, on a cell level during the lifetime of the cell that there will be a fire or something, and what's the probability on the systems level over the lifetime of the system? So how risky or dangerous is it actually? And it's also a very, very interesting question. So what we do to ensure the safety of the system is already starting by selecting what kind of cell we put into the system. Therefore, we have our research facilities in Zwickau in Germany and in Shanghai. They are doing a constant benchmarking which modules and cells are on the market at the moment and which are the most safe and reliable and the most suitable for our systems. So at the moment we are using Samsung SDI and LG modules because we see that they are the leader on quality at the market at the moment. This might change in five years, but once it changes, we'll be the first to know. Secondly, for the system design, we really make sure that everything in the system is uh, made in Germany of high quality. So really, each part, except of the battery module, is made in Germany, starting from the lightning protection, the containment, the switches, the uh, inverter system, everything. We also decrease the window of operation of the lithium-ion battery. So we don't use the full 100% operation window, but we decrease it to use only 5% up to 95%. 
so a 90% DOD window. So we can even further increase the safety by not risking to run into destabilization uh, in the operation parameters. The question how pro probable it is. Okay, one minute left. The question how probable it is to have an incident. Well, it's hard to say. We will see by time. Of course, those systems aren't deployed since long. But I just read an article like uh, earlier, like last, uh, last week or two weeks ago, that it was actually like around 1% of the systems installed in the US were already on fire. So that's a very large number. 1% is a high number for uh, safety incidents with uh, such a critical component. So that's even puts even more importance on uh, having a, a system such as ours, which is actually containing the thermal runaway in case there might be any. Uh, is there any last question? I guess we are running out of time. One question left. Um, do, do we need a cooling system for that, for the batteries? Yes, uh, we use a cooling system. As I explained earlier, two reasons, safety and lifetime of the battery. So we try to keep the battery temperature always at 20 to 25 degrees. All right, uh, I think the time is up. Uh, thank you very much for uh, visiting us. And if there are still any questions left, uh, feel free to come by later. We'll find me the whole three days here in our booth. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Mr. Meyer. Yeah, I hope you I, I, I think you are happy to welcome all the people for more questions. I would have la one last one, uh, Gilly. Uh, I understood it well that you're only offering the battery block with battery management and energy management system and the power electronics is not included in the system. It's external from another manufacturer. So now actually the inverter system is also included in this housing. So this one is really a one-stop solution. Everything is in this one container. Batteries, energy management, software, all the safeguard systems and the inverter system. So you just come with your free phase cable, plug it in and you're ready to go. That was not clear to me, so thank you very much. Now it's clear. <laughs> so perfect. Uh, thank you very much. Okay.